Now this right here is the world's darkest fake tan. People were posting pictures of the results onto Twitter. Ah! Damn. No, 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 stop that. Oh my god. Two hours later. Shh. Oh. I am green. Hi, it's Millie. I'm excited to be doing this video because I haven't done a wacky I tried trying something video in so long. Quarantine's really been limiting my video ideas. It's quite sad. However, I was on a random YouTube binge the other night and I came across this girl that tried out the world's darkest fake tan. And I was like, that is a good idea. Where is she? Uh, I remember a few years ago this went viral because people were posting pictures of the results onto Twitter and this is how it came out. It was impossible for me to find this tan in any store so I ended up having to order it online and it arrived. Extremely dark. I'm kind of scared to do this because I don't usually fake tan and every time I do fake tan it goes wrong. I just realized how bad this could potentially go because I used to have eczema when I was younger so I had really sensitive skin and I kind of grew out of it and my skin is literally normal now. However, fake tan for some reason just ends up going like tiger bread every single time and then it doesn't even come off oh and if you guys watch my other videos you'll know that i had an allergic reaction to eyelash tin eyebrow tin the list honestly goes on why is my skin like that i'm a little bit scared because i'm not very good at applying tan i usually just use this which is the garnier summer body moisturizing lotion and it's so good whoa whoa do not allow the mousse to come into contact with carpet, furniture, walls, or fabrics. That's inevitably going to happen. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna. Sh oh, this is definitely going on my carpet. Okay, I'm gonna shower, shave, exfoliate, all of that, and then we'll see how pale I am naturally. Oh, all right, I'm out of the shower now. I've exfoliated, I've shaved. I feel like she's still gonna be patchy, but we'll give it our best shot. Wear gloves or use St. Moritz tanning applicator. Oh, I'm actually using a St. Tropez applicator. Competition. It says to leave for three hours for a darker than dark bronze tan. So we're going to leave it for about six hours, maybe 12, and see what happens. Time to get applying. All right. All right, let's just do it. Now I'm cruising all alone in my Balenciaga denim, but you really fuck with my vibe. You really want to get high. You say you're sorry, you cry. It's falling under my thigh. I gave you my heart. Okay, so for lighting reasons, we're gonna be doing this out on the landing. I have put a towel down though, so I'm hoping that no fake tan gets on the carpet. It was about to go in the wash anyway. There's bits of orange there, that's from foundation and me wiping my hands on the towel. But yeah, <laughs> on that note. Body or tanning mitt? Where does it go? Tanning mitt? Skin. I feel like I normally put it on my skin. Skin? Ah! Oh. Oh, damn. How much do I use? Okay, I'm done. Oh, I've put it on my finger already. No, no, no. Oh, no, I put more. Okay, on this one then, whilst I wait. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, this is, I feel like she's going a bit streaky. Blend, blend. No, 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 stop that. Guys, I swear I'm trying my best. Like, I promise. I don't mean to mess it up every time. Oh my god. Ah, uh, oh jeez. Right, 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 right. Is this patchy or is it my application skills or is it my skin? Oh no, no. Really quickly, I just want to say YouTube tells me that over 60% of you guys aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you are seeing my channel for the first time or you've seen it before but you're not subscribed, please, you know, feel free. Press the subscribe button below. I tend to do a lot of weird videos like this. So if you want to see any more wacky ideas that you want to see me try, if it puts my life at risk, I'll do it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section. I'm just waiting for lockdown to be over so I can actually go out and do things. It's not with you. I guess it's not, it's not really the biggest deal in the world, is it? It comes off. I'm going to have to bring a mirror. I'm stressing out now. Does it look, does it look natural? Huh? Does it look like I've been to the Caribbean for a few weeks? Oh. You know what I'm quite impressed with? Usually with fake tans, they stop blending straight away, but this one keeps blending. Oh jeez. I just don't know like what to do. I am doing my face as well, so I'm gonna get a makeup brush and like fully probably do my face because I don't want that to go patchy. I do want to say though, this color is beautiful. I'd love to do this color naturally. However, I am extremely Caucasian. Why is it white there? Is it because I put moisturizing cream there? I'm gonna go try fix this and then I'll update you. Okay, so I've been blending for so long and I think it's a lot better than it was. 
This is stressful, but I'm gonna make it work. Do you wanna see what I've done to my stomach? Ah, uh, she's still patchy, right? Ah, oh, she's a little bit patchy. Can you see next to my gun tattoo? Like how he just has that line. That always happens and it won't blend in. Legs now. Oh, please don't go patchy on my legs. Am I going out anywhere? Oh no, it's locked down. One thing I will say, with the tan being so dark against my pale ass skin, it's really hard to get it even because I'll accidentally layer them up and then like certain parts will have like double the bronze. And then I try and even it out, but then I give it triple the bronze. <laughs> Alright, blend. <gasps> ah! It's on the carpet. I haven't put anything on the carpet yet, you know? Unless it goes through the towel. Nah, surely not. I don't know how much it shows. Can you see how patchy that is? I can't fix it though. I feel like if I put another layer on, it's just gonna make it more patchy. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about when I say my skin goes like tiger bread. Also, quick question. How am I supposed to do my back? I've done some of it, but not all of it. Can you see on my back? It's just pale. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think, I think, I think I've done it. I feel like it's still patchy though. There is a huge green undertone to this tan. So I hope I don't look like Shrek. So I was just washing this face brush, right? And the tan came off my hands instantly. I don't know if all the tan came off or if it was just the green tones though. So I'm wondering what the heck this is gonna look like after it's washed off. I really hope this doesn't make me break out because my skin is being really good to me at the minute and I really appreciate it. This is a life hack, by the way. If you're ever putting fake tan on your face, use a makeup brush. TikTok taught me. Okay, we're going straight in for it. I think I used too much for a small face area. Okay, okay, blend, blend, blend. By the way, I really hope this doesn't get taken the wrong way because you know how the internet is. But please do not. I have good intentions, I promise. Obviously, there is no racial reference to this whatsoever. I'm just trying out the darkest fake tan. Do my ears tan? I guess so. Ah! I bud. My distribution was not good. And this develops, but then I wash it off, so I don't know if it's gonna go darker or lighter. I'm gonna also try and finesse some contour whilst we're at it. I need to fix my nose. Eight hours later. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Sh oh. Uh, uh. Why do I look like Shrek? I looked at myself on my phone camera, but it did not look like this. Oh my god, what is the truth? I am green. Am I not green? <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen though. Is the green just gonna wash off and it's gonna be like a really nice color underneath? Or is it gonna be worse? And is it patchy? It's definitely patchy, right? Oh! <gasps> it's been like six to eight hours, so I should probably wash it off now. I'm gonna wash it off now. It doesn't look that patchy though, right? I really don't feel like it does. Does my face look better? I literally just wiped my face down with a Johnson's baby wipe and it actually like took so much of the tan off. A few minutes later. Later that same evening. I am absolutely shocked. I've never had fake tan turn out this nice before. And I'm talking mainly about the patchiness. Like it's not there. I think when it goes really dark and sets, the patchiness is like over, over exaggerated. And then when you take off loads of layers, the patchiness like fades until you get down to a less tan color, but then the patchiness is gone. I'll show you properly tomorrow, but I think I'm actually so impressed with that. I did not expect that. But there is that slight olive undertone, but I really like it when it's more subtle like this rather than going full on ogre. One nap later. I honestly do not know what to say. It's the next day and the tan is all off. It's not off, the tan's still there. I'm still tan, but it's not green anymore, so that's a good start. I moved into my room because the lighting's a lot better. It's quite even, right? And it's quite even across my whole body. Is this the first ever Millie T video to go completely successful? I think it is, you know? See, I say that, but I know in like five days it is gonna come off like tiger bread. The thing is, I'm almost definite that I'm darker, but I have a feeling when I'm watching this back, I'm gonna be like, oh, you just washed off all the fake tan in the shower. Can I just say, when I was showering, I cannot believe the amount of brown that came off my body. Like the fake tan was just coming down and I was like, this is literally all being washed off. So is that how it works then? It's the darkest tan before you wash it off and they make it so dark because it makes it better when you wash it off, like it makes it more even and stuff. I have no idea. 
Oh, and also, as for my face, I haven't broken out or anything yet. I say yeah, and I cross my fingers because I really hope that I don't. But it's so natural and subtle, I think. I am kind of worried, though, because this seems way too good to be true. Like, my neck not even being patchy or anything. And I'm wondering if it just took all the tan off and this is actually my natural skin tone. Like, the placebo effect's really taking force right now. I swear I am darker, though. It has left me with a tan. Like, even my legs are definitely still tan, but it's still even everywhere. I just was not expecting these results, so I don't know how to feel. There's no patchiness or unevenness anywhere. Anywhere. And did you see the way that I put it on as well? Like it was a bit dodgy. <laughs> I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I don't really know what to say. I look half dead. It's because it's eight o'clock in the morning and I haven't slept yet because I'm editing this video and it's going up in about seven hours, maybe ten. I can't count. I do really like this video looking back on it. I just find it so jokes that the results actually turned out to be so natural and nice looking compared to me literally being green the night before. How did that even happen? Even the articles and all those tweets like talked about how people had horror stories, but mine was actually fine. Like I thought it was going to be a horror story, but then it just all washed off and now I'm just left with a natural tan that isn't patchy. I win, bitch! Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next one. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.